what an honor to be here today to honor Dolores. Um, doing a congressional record is really amazing because you learn about the person that you're writing about. And I'm not going to read it, but um, amazing life you've lived. Oh, yeah, there's and, a lot of writing there. Yeah. <laughs> a lot here. But on behalf of Congressman Lucarea, I present this congressional record that will be in perpetuity as long as our country stands. So congratulations on that. And after reading your green sheet, I am so jealous. <laughs> I want to retire with you. <laughs> I love, and that's the short list. I have a much yeah, longer. I love detective <laughs> novels. I love champagne. Oh. And all, all that. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll be in touch. Okay. <laughs> you do have a phone. Next, we have someone in Tom Humberg's office. Great. Hi, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if you thought that resolution was big, small, this one's a little bit bigger with more language. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the state of California, we'd like to recognize Dolores for all her hard work and commitment and dedication. Uh, fun fact, I've actually have been with the organization for 14 years. I was a young uh, senator with uh, Congressman Correa's office when he was back then a senator's office. And we've gotten to see and uh, we get to hear the good stories over the phone when constituents call and they are you know, at their breaking point where they need assistance, and need help, and when we always point them to your direction, <laughs> we know that you're getting the service they need. So on behalf of the state of California and the Senator Tom Umberg, we have this resolution for you, Dolores. And um, I think 23 is your lucky number, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> so this is resolution number 23. <laughs> Tom's been in office for four years, and in those four years, he's only given 23 of those. <laughs> Oh, that's a number. That's a really good number, right? We're playing and I'll show you here. <laughs> is number uh, resolution number 23. I just want to read one little paragraph. This is really short, but I think embodies everything you just said earlier. And that is, um, as a result of her tireless hard work and unwavering commitment, Dolores Barrett has compiled an impressive record of a career of civic achievements that have earned her admiration and respect for those who have and the privilege associated with you. Therefore, we will love to present this resolution. And I would be remiss if the senator would say, you need to wear it in the chain for a whole month. <laughs> so folks, so enjoy your retirement and, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Great. Who am I looking at? Who are we looking at? Straight at <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So next, um, we have one of our um, great board members. I call her Queen Connie. So uh, Miss Connie Jones is going to one queen. She's going to talk about the other queen. So Connie Jones. Thank you and good afternoon. Um, I couldn't talk from my heart because um, too sentimental. So I brought something quirky to talk about, about Dolores. So sorry that my, my chair messed up the plate. So here's a plate. Here is Dolores. She's full of Smarties. That's an egg. <laughs> Here's another egg that's full of sweeties. It's a little chick. And that represents a little, little lives that Dolores has impacted by empowering parents. And here's the bunny rabbit. This is how um, I've seen Dolores um, in her experience from working at the Salvation Army, uh, seeing her when she was push, pushing a carriage to the Hunger Coalition 30, maybe 30 years ago. At least. Hunger Coalition at St. Olaf's Church, 9th and Lampson in Garden Grove. <laughs> Lutheran Social Service. And then yep. this is an empty one. For those lives that are empty, Dolores has put a tremendous impact on. Remember the empty egg. 
And so, what else does she have in that bag? I'm going to show you what else I have in the bag. I have something that's moving and keeps moving. And maybe, okay. And inside, it's a lot of Smarties. It's even candy, food to keep you sweet. It's even carrots to help you grow. And hip hop. That's how I see Dolores. <laughs> hip hopping from meeting to meeting. <laughs> from place to place. From state to state. To the state, to the federal, to the county. To make an impact on people's lives. God bless you and thank you Dolores. Do you think that the board members could come up now and take a picture with yes. us? Oh, yes. Yes. Think we could do that now? Okay. Push that out there. <laughs> you guys are short. <laughs> We love all our comments. <laughs> she speaks fat. <laughs> He's over there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. You good? Yeah. You sure? You were bouncing a lot right there. I know. <laughs> so next we're going to have our chief operating officer. Um, we call him Bill. I call him William. And whenever I call him that he thinks he's in trouble. So, <laughs> Bill Bell. So I'm going to uh, talk to LaShonda because you never want to follow Queen Connie. So, talk about my placement here. <laughs> so, um, I've had the pleasure to work with Dolores for three years, um, and they've gone by really quickly. They've passed. Really. Um, and I'm still in denial that she's leaving, and I keep reminding her she has still 24 good hours to change her mind. <laughs> um, but uh, I think after this, she's probably going to leave. <laughs> We're, we're doing such a wonderful goodbye for her. But I, I want you to think about 23 years at an agency. And um, I wrote a few notes down um, just so you put that in perspective. So 23 years ago, a gallon of gas was $1.47. <laughs> Stanford. No, you don't remember. <laughs> You're looking at us like yeah. oh. <laughs> Is that ever possible? Yeah. Stands for 33 cents. Minimum wage was 575. The average um, home that sold in California was $195,000. Wow. Wow. Um, for those of you movie fans, the very first Mummy movie, the very first Matrix, and Toy Story 2 came out the year she joined Capo Scene. <laughs> so that tells you, you can go through your DVD. <laughs> um, SpongeBob premiered on TV. <laughs> Influenced their lives. <laughs> the Euro was created. That was the very first year, 23 years ago, when she joined Capo C, the Euro um, was created. <laughs> and eggs were a dollar eight a carton. A carton. A carton. Not an egg. 22 no. years ago. But, um, 23 seems to be a, a, a number for her because if you read her sheet, she's got 23 cartons that she has to go through in her home, <laughs> um, boxes and things. But when um, I got the pleasure of working with her, um, it took her about 23 seconds in our first meeting to take over the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> So I, I'm the new guy, right? And, and you know, I'm supposed to be in charge, so to speak, um, of, of the staff meeting. And I started talking, and whoosh, 23 seconds in, Dolores, well, we should be doing this. 
why are you doing this? And um, I got used to that and actually looked forward to that um, because she always knew where to, to lead us, right? She knew what was right for the agency, what was right for the communities we served. Um, I think in my first six months, she presented 23 grants to me <laughs> doing this um, because she was always looking for opportunities uh, to serve our community. Um, and I want you to know, you know, when you go through life, uh, we have a very short time on this earth, um, unfortunately. Um, but when you go through life, um, on your journey, wherever it takes you, in your individual stories, um, you're very blessed and lucky if you find people that come into your life that affect it and leave lasting impact. Um, Dolores has certainly done that for me. I know she's done that for all the people that have worked for her. Um, and if you think of the hundreds of thousands of people she has touched through her passion um, and her desire to make an impact, um, she has impacted all of those people as well. Um, a lot of people in our community here in Orange County have to thank her for that partnership, as she mentioned earlier, to, to come together and, and to make this a better world. And that's, that's her legacy. I know she's going to continue to do that work because that's in her blood, that's in her heart. Um, and Dolores, we just thank you for, for everything. Thank you very much. And I have said in many meetings that I have an opinion about everything. <laughs> I don't know if it's correct, I don't know if it is, but I have an opinion. <laughs> So next we're going to have her team. So we're going to have Maribel come up and they want to do their presentation. Okay, Dolores. So I want to say thank you for everything that you've done for our team, for your leadership, for your coaching, for your mentoring. We are going to miss you tremendously, but we're glad that you're going to start your new adventure. New adventure. And don't forget that we're going to show up at your doorstep on Monday, <laughs> Naki. <laughs> Come back. Um, and to your children, thank you for